Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, I think we're going to work on getting our interceptor kitted out. Um, but first, we have some settlement administration stuff to do. View citizen request. They want to have a grand day out. Um, we haven't really done a whole lot for happiness of the citizens. It's going to put the settlement in debt a little bit. But you know what? We got hundreds of millions of credits, so we can carry them if we need to. I don't know if we can actually do that. Um, so where does that put us now? View settlement status. Okay, so that boosted their happiness up to 27%. And, you know, the productivity is getting better. So I think over time, you know, that's this is eventually going to fix itself. Hypnodrones increases productivity. Hypnodrones? What the hell is that about? Um, they're currently 10 million in debt right now. And it's going up. There you go. <laughs> okay, so um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and teleport back to our um, our freighter. Are we here? Yep, we're here. And I want to go... Okay, there we go. I was getting disoriented there for a minute. Let's go down to the hangar. Okay, so there's the interceptor. I'm trying to remember how you, how I get the other ship up here. I think we have to warp to another system or something like that. All right, why don't we do that? No, oh, that's not what I want. I want this one. Is there a system we can also... Atlas Station. Where's current mission? Oh, it's not selecting current mission. Is that because I don't have a current mission active? Oh, well, it's because I'm in the system with the active current mission. Okay. Um, our little robot dude. Not wrong. Let me make the planetary sentinels. Return to mission agent. No, that's not the one. Um, where's that metal something or other quest? Yeah, trace of metal. He wants us to investigate some coordinates. Um, is that in this system, though? Return to the mission agent, the sentry's coordinates. Yeah, it is still in this system. All right, well, in that case, you know what? We got lots of warp fuel. Let's just warp here because I want to get my sail ship back up here. I still haven't actually, though, decided if I want to leave the sail ship or, or the solar solar sail ship exactly as it is uh, and just kit out the sentry with new equipment. Okay, so now I think the solar ship should be down in the hangar bay. Yeah, there it is. Okay. There it is. Very good. So, the thing is, is if I leave the solar sail ship alone, then I'm going to have to go... Oh, that scared me for a second. <laughs> I looked down and looked up, and all of a sudden this ship's coming. Um... It means I'm going to have to go around and, and buy a bunch of S modules. 
that's not a problem from a monetary standpoint. We got lots of money, but it's just going to be time consuming. Um, so based upon that, I think I want to pull, I think we're just going to pull the modules off the solar ship uh, for now. Because I don't really necessarily need, you know, two fighters at the same time anyway. I mean, it, it'd be nice to have two fully operational fighters. But I, that's more time than I want to spend. I guess it's really what the bottom line is. All right, so that being the case, what we're going to need to do is um, remove some stuff from the, from the other ship. Before we do that, though, uh, let's just kind of situate what we currently have. So we'll probably put... Some weaponry stuff there, I guess. That's our launch thruster. This is our pulse engine. This is our hyperdrive. This is our shield. All right, let's put the shield in the in that slot, and then we'll get some modules around it to to uh, strengthen it. Anti gravity well. Yeah, that was the launch thruster. I don't think this thing. We just have to have this in the ship to make it work at all, so we can kind of put that out of the way for the moment. Uh, not necessarily wanting the rocket launcher, but let's not melt it quite yet. We're going to just put it out of the way. We will put a, a phase beam in that position. The Sentinel cannon, probably also not going to use that. So let's focus on getting shield modules, phase beam modules, and infra knife modules from the other ship. Um, and I think I'm going to have to go get in that ship to access that stuff because this just accesses, you know, whatever my current active starship is. Okay. Uh, we're going to need the thrust modules too. All right, so let's focus. Let's focus on the weaponry first. So that's all infra knife. Uh, we don't need the infra knife itself though, because we already have one, which is nice. Um, and then let's get, or I'm sorry, not infra knife, phase beam. Um, then we'll get the infra knife and all of its modules. Okay, and then let's also get all of the shield modules. And I guess we can take the pulse modules as well. That's the efficient thrusters. We want that for sure. And I have the module that that'll recharge because I don't think the interceptor will do that. That's one of the advantages of having the solar ship, of course. So we'll have to we'll have to grab that. Um and yeah, hyperdrive modules too. That's for sale. We want the teleport receiver and the economy scanner. Okay. Now we gotta move all of this stuff into our inventory. Okay. Um so let's start with the infra knife. And we're going to put that in that slot. And then let's get all of the surrounding modules. See, we're not... I don't like the position of... Excuse me, our, our uh, hyper slots or whatever the hell you call them. But it is what it is. Can't do anything about it, so... Put that there. 
We might have to just put the phase beam somewhere else because the phase beam is our secondary weapon anyway. Um, and I definitely want our shield boosted. So, yeah, let's just, let's move that. So let's see, this is 9%, 9 fire rate, 5, 6, 8 heat, dis, dis, uh, heat dispersion, heat dispersion damage, fire rate. What does this do? Total cannon count. I think I would like to put the heat dispersion in this slot. The, the one that has the most heat dispersion, which is this one. Because that's 9%, this is 8%, that's 8%. Okay, so let's put that heat dispersion there. We'll put this one down here. And then we'll put that one over there. You know what I should have done is maybe taken a screenshot or whatever of the other ship just to compare them, but that's right, doesn't matter. Okay. Now... Um, let's put the phase beam here, maybe, and get all of the modules for that. Which I think are these modules. Okay, so... That's heat dispersion. That's 94% heat dispersion. That's really good. That's 11 and that's just damage. Shield recharge on impact. Yeah, that's a good one too. Uh, why don't we change places with these two so they're giving each other their bonus and We'll put that right next to the phase beam itself, so they're sharing bonus. That's probably good. Or we could even move it up on top there, I suppose. Very good. Let's do the shield modules next. That's not what we want. Those are those are the hyperdrives. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's probably the best arrangement right there. I wonder if we swap the 38% strength for the actual module in the hyper slot. So right now we have 297.6 shield strength. No, it's now 292. Two ninety-seven. Okay, so that's the best arrangement there. And I think that's it for the shields. Okay, now let's do the hyperdrive modules. We'll just put them over here first, then we'll figure out where we're gonna how we're gonna arrange stuff. Lots of hyperdrive modules. I think that's a pulse engine module. That's the economy scanner. That's all of our own stuff. Okay, so Crimson Core is our FTL drive. So let's just put it. there and that's probably as good of an arrangement as any because we have three well no we should do this because then we have all four of them touching the main hyperdrive okay I'm just going to throw the economy scanner in kind of a random slot Okay, this is a pulse drive, so once again, let's get them all. Uh, 
that's all my own stuff. Oh, you know why? Because we need to, uh, I gotta go pull some more out. I didn't get them all in one shot. rest of these. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we can't install this on the interceptor. That wouldn't make sense. Yeah, pretty sure we can't. There. That should go next to the thruster. And these should go next to the pulse drive. As should this. So I have to just think about how... Oh, I've got some more. That's right. i got some more rows down here. I forgot about that. Okay, so let's move the pulse drive. Right there. And then we can put these next to it so they're all touching the pulse drive. No, that's not the pulse drive. I'm not used to these. This is the pulse drive. There we go. Okay. And let's move this here. And whoops, and move all of these up. Okay, that's good. That seems like a pretty decent arrangement. All right, I don't want these, so let's store them. And the reason I don't is just because it's it's less weapons that I have to cycle through. I'm very used to combat now with just the face beam and the infra knife. Okay, I think that takes care of that. Now we do need to do one more thing. We need to go to the freighter and we need to go to modules and upgrades. That's a blaze javelin. I need to find the uh, recharge module. You know, that recharges the, the, the uh, lift press. Whatever the hell those things are called. <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Um, so, okay, so where is that? I know I've got it. Launch auto charger package. That's the one I want. Okay, and I want this to go there so it's right next to here. Beautiful. Okay, is there anything else? Anything else that we can put on here? What does that do? That's an infra knife module, but if it's in here, it's probably because we we have better stuff and we, we're at the limit. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Pregnant supercharger. That's for a positron ejector. That's neutron cannon stuff. That's for the cyclic. Tron Ballista, Volt Caster, Analysis Visor. These are suit modules. Volt Caster, 
geology canon. Yeah, that's all. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it is. Okay. Well, there is one other thing we could do. Is we could... Uh, crack open. I've got a whole bunch of salvage glass, and we might we might be able to get a good module out of those. Here, let's run back upstairs because it's just a little easier to access the inventory from there, so I can put these other things away. in there. Hard frame engine. Process mechanical unit. That's an uh that's for upgrading. Alright, well this is our upgrade storage, so we'll put it in there. Sentinel flare. This is the thing that allows us to call our sentinel buddy to us. I don't think he shows up unless we're on the planet. So I guess we need to hang on to that for the moment. But we could potentially unlock uh, some better modules if we break the glass open. The thing is, though, is we're... I think we're already at our limit. We only have two X-level modules for the phase beam. We're at our limit for hyperdrives. We're at our limit for shields. And at our limit for these. So we'd have to we'd have to crack one open that's better than what we have. We can't add more. B class phase beam upgrade. Um so I don't know. I'll tell you what. Let's just try the ship as it is and see how we like it and then uh, and then just go from there. Okay, let's do the usual go through the fleet thing. You guys know the drill. I'll play some groovy tunes for you. If you are interested in reading the logs, just pause the screen and uh, let's see what we get here. Excuse me, sir.
right, guys, so we got ourselves um, a couple of expansion slots for the starship. So why don't we run over to the station and apply those, and then we're going to take this thing out for a spin. Okay, so I think I'm just going to keep going across the bottom here um, and expanding these slots. Uh, neither one of those gave us a overdrive slot. So, cool. Okay, let's take this guy out for a spin and see, see how he does. Or she, or it. Doesn't seem to be quite as maneuverable as the solar ship was. Uh, let's see how our heat does on these. Eh, that's not bad. I just I had these in the in the you know the uh, I always forget what they're called the the overdrive slots. No, that's not what they're called, but that's what I that what comes to mind before, and now they're not, but that's still pretty good, actually. I don't constantly lay on these anyways, I just use them to recharge my shields. So let's try the Infernite and see the heat on this. Yeah, that's not too bad either. Okay. The, the only thing, like I said, is it doesn't feel like the ship's quite as maneuverable as the other one was. But, I, you know, I might have had the pulse engines in the quote-unquote hyperdrive slots on that ship, too. I just don't remember. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's go back to the other system here, um, because that's where we need to go to continue the mission for our little robot dude. right there. Luminous engine disabled. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do this first. I oh, can't use communicator. Okay. We'll do the battle, but... Oh, wait, no! There's a big battleship up ahead. Maybe that is what it is. That looks like that might be bigger than the one we have, too. Okay, well, let's try some combat here. Just gotta get him away from the, the main ship here. Because um, I don't want to shoot the main ship, or that can screw things up. Weapons feel pretty powerful on this ship. Um, it just doesn't seem as maneuverable as all. Get some shield reach. 
charge action here. Oh, did I hit the wrong guy? I'm like... Really? Hostile scan in the middle of combat? What the hell's up with that? Oh, now the interceptors are coming. Yeah, I shot the wrong guy. Whatever. Stupid interceptors. Yeah, I definitely would say the weapons are more powerful. Definitely less maneuver. Let's get our shields back. Hey, bump into me. Doesn't seem like my fighter escorts do a whole lot. I mean, they shoot at the enemy, but it's like, it's like they don't hardly do any damage at all. Come here, you bastard. I'm so lucky. Well, you were lucky, you're not now. Sorry, I'm not trying to attack the ship. Uh oh, one of our infrared modules got damaged. Alright, are we still going to be able to dock on this ship? It's definitely a larger battleship than the one we have. We got this short one. Uh, I want to get away from the Sentinels for now. We can fight the Sentinels later. I don't want to mess with them right now. He's not going to let us... Wait, is he going to let us go? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I really wished during these freighter battles that there was some way to turn the friendly fire off. It's a super big pain in the butt. Or at least relax it a little more than it is. Uh, what are we looking at here? This is an A-class freighter. Okay. to buy the freighter. Compare. Okay, so we have an A-class also. This is just the larger version of it. It has um, 34 slots. I mean, it's, it's, it's not really better than ours, I don't think. It's just bigger. When it says, I think these 34 slots mean all the slots together. Whereas in our case, we have 53 slots in total. Pretty sure what that, that's what that means. Um, the other thing, too, is the last time I tried to do this, if you guys were watching that episode, it didn't give me the option to move my base over, which turned out to be a major pain in the butt because then I had to rebuild it on the new ship. And I still don't see that option. Because if I hit exchange... It would be nice to have the larger battleship, but that it's a purely aesthetic thing. 
Did it's worth more money? I think. Yeah, it is because it's worth about 87 million more. Oh man, I, I don't know. I really, really don't want to rebuild my base a, for a third time. So, I guess. Let me think about this. No, you know what? Let's just decline it. I don't know. I don't know why it's not giving me the option to move the base over. Unless it. That's weird. Unless it does it after I hit exchange, but I don't think it does. I think it'll just do it and then, then you're stuck. Now, I think the last time I tried that also, I thought I could go back and reload, but it, it auto-saved it after I did it, and, that, and I was stuck with it. There is another way we could try to make this work, though, and that is for me to... get in my ship and get back out to create a save point here. Log out of the game, make a make a Windows backup of the save files, which I do anyways on all of my games, just in case something happens. And then we could try it, and if it doesn't work, then I can just reload from the Windows save. Because um, I'm going to try this again, just to see if it gives me that option to move my base over. Alright, so... Let's give that a try. I'll be right back. Okay, so when I reloaded, it started me outside the ship and I got a message from Artemis. I received your Gazette message. I, I don't know what to say. How, Gazette, do you know the Atlas is telling the truth? Uh, I can't be sure. I know. I know you've been busy. I know why. Uh, I now know why. But, ellipsis, 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 i still like to see another traveler before I die. I'd still like to meet, if we can, if that doesn't sound ridiculous considering the circumstances. Tell Artemis the truth. Didn't... Didn't we already have this conversation before? The same communication comes back to me, permeated with static. The message, the intonation, everything about it is identical. I know, Gazette. I know you've been Gazette. I'd still like to see another traveler, Gazette, if that doesn't... Ask where you are repeating. Try to recalibrate. Yeah, let's try to recalibrate. I know, Gazette. I know you've been Gazette. I'd still like to see another traveler, Gazette, if that doesn't... It is then that I realize it. The noises, the static I've been hearing throughout my adventures. It is not interference, the corruption of long-distance communication. How could it be? We speak to the protocol of a dream. The noises. The sound of Gazette. It's the sound of waking. It's the sound of everything falling apart. It's the final gasp. The death of Atlas will not begin in 16 minutes. It began a long time ago. I say goodbye not knowing if Artemis can hear me. I don't even know what that means, to hear me. We're all just data. Did they ever hear me? These glitches will happen more and more in the final days. Individuals caught in cycles, repeating themselves. Planets wiped from existence or changed overnight. All discoveries lost. I must journey on. That's a trip. Okay, answer the communicator. Space rescue. Hey, dude, come and rescue me, but don't shoot my ship, or I'll call sentinels on you. That's what he's saying right here, in case you guys didn't realize. Been here by a passing freight of the life farm who plays the call. Seems distressed, gesturing. They seem in dire need. Okay, let's try this again, um, except for that's another battleship, but I don't know if it's the big battleship. I can't tell from here. I'm going to try really hard not to shoot their ship if I can. Um, these damn pirates, when they're right next to the ship, though, makes that really hard to do. Good night, Gracie. Get away from. 
from the ship. So I can shoot you. Come and see me on my ship, yo. That's what he said. He said yo, too, in case you didn't know that. Life armor must be the captain. Okay, in communication, gesture, go to the ship. Yada, yada. Okay, so this is still the big battleship. Um, it's quite large, in fact. Damn, is that even bigger than the other one? No, I think it's the same size. Let's go check this out. Captain Big Two. Captain Big Toe. The alien barks a loud battle cry as I approach, celebrating our victory. They gesture towards the control panel. Inspect the freighter. Aw, oh, shit, it's a C-Class. <laughs> now, I, I know in this game you can re-load the save and, and re-roll it. But I don't really want to do that. Um, I mean, let's compare them anyways. We don't get anything for it. That's only got 28 slots. We'd be giving up 53 slots for 28 slots. That just doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, okay. You know what? We're going to do something for science, though, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do exchange, and I'm going to see if it gives me the option to copy the base over. And if it doesn't, and if it breaks, I'll just reload the save, the window save. Let's, let's do this. I hope I don't regret this. Okay, so it's transfer items. Inventory is not transferred. Transfer items to the new ship before completing exchange. Transfer items to the new ship before completing exchange. How in the hell do I transfer items to the ship if I don't own it? Oh, I bet you it lets me do that. Does it? Yeah, it'll let me pull stuff out of here over to here. But it's not giving me the option to... It's not giving me the option to move the base over. Unless... Okay, here, let's try something. Um... Wait, I... it's not letting me move these. What the hell? How am I supposed to move this shit over then? Oh, cargo. Oh, right, cargo. It's not the modules, it's the cargo. So I'd have to take these modules out first. Um, all right. Uh, here, let's, let's transfer the cargo over as if we were going to do this. Okay, exchange. Okay, so now the ship is ours, and it did not give me the option to move the base over. So what the hell? Why did I see that before, you guys? And now it's not available. This is the second time I've done this, and I didn't get the option to move the base over. Am I doing something wrong? Have they changed the game so that no longer works? And if so, why? I'm so confuzzled. All right, well, we're not giving up that other ship. Even though this one's bigger, it's a C-Class, and we lost our base again, so not going to work. All right, so let's let's reload. Okay, we are back. And uh, we got the Artemis message again. And da -da 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 -da. Let's run through this really quick. Okay, let's do the space battle again, just because I want to see if there's a, a snowball's chance in hell that this is an S-Class Raider. Uh, 
Where's it at? Right there. Okay. Too bad there wasn't some way we could tell from here, but I don't know how to do that if it's even possible at all. class it's got 49 uh, slots we have 55 in an A class okay yeah I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's worth it alright that's all we're going to do with that oh wait a minute we can still go get a reward from them might as well Free stuff. Got some Viking standing, some nanites, and some gold. Yeah, my my assessment of this ship is it, and I could be this could be all in my imagination too, but it seems to me like the weapons are more powerful, but it's doesn't. It's not as maneuverable as the solar ship. Uh, I can tell that automatically. And again, I, I kind of wished I would have looked at the stats on the solar ship before I pulled all the stuff off of it. Just, you know, by way of comparison. Alright guys, well, I think we're out of time in this episode. So, what we're going to... The plan for the next episode is we're going we're gonna to do the little quest for the you know, for a little robot dude. And then, you know, keep nurturing our settlement and um, keep working on some story storyline stuff. I, I'm it's kind of in my mind, and maybe I've already shared this with you guys, but it's kind of in my mind that I'm not necessarily gonna do a big, you know, massive base build. Um, at least well, in one of two situations. I'm, I'm either going to wait until we get to the center of this universe and then maybe go to a different universe and then focus more on base building. Uh, and I do want to do that. I want to build a nice base. I want to set up um, some farms, you know, some mineral farms, that kind of thing. Or we get we get to the center of the galaxy, we finish this series all together, and then we... Um, start a new series where we focus more on on base building and not so much story mode stuff i haven't really decided yet the thing is is you know we can keep going once we get to the center of the euclid galaxy because there's multiple galaxies there's in fact i think there's like 254 galaxies uh in this game and from what i understand i'm not 100 percent sure about this from what i understand the other galaxies are are tougher because they're kind of like you know New Game Plus kind of idea, uh, which I like because I think overall, even though you know we're playing on pretty hard hard settings, uh, it's still not that challenging. So, but you know we'll figure it out one way or the other and go from there. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye bye.